Hello, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, we're now going to show you uh, how to install uh, IntelliJ IDE from JetBrains for doing Java uh, development. So the first part uh, is actually install Java, so you should see the, uh, the video that's referenced in the description. And uh, so once you have that installed and you have uh, Java Home defined in the uh, system variables, uh, you can just go to jetbrains.com uh, slash IDEA and the name of the product is IntelliJ IDEA uh, and you go ahead and do download there's two versions uh, for just uh, a student uh, you can just download this uh, community edition or for anyone and there's uh, it's completely free and open source if you want more features you can pay uh, to get the ultimate edition or if you're actually a student in a school uh, you can look up on the site how to do it but you can apply to get all the her products for free so we're just going to download this and I'll speed up the uh, download so we'll run I'll run it when we get it Okay, so it looks like it's uh, done. So we'll go ahead and, inst and hit uh, install anyway, since it's not from the store, it complains. Now it may be in the store, Microsoft store, so you can check that. I haven't actually checked. And uh, here uh, it's going to make changes, so we say yes. And then we just basically are going to accept the defaults. Uh, so you can see where it's going to install. We'll be in program files under an area called JetBrains. And you can create a shortcut. Uh, you can do different things. So we're going to associate Java files with this app. That's one thing I would recommend. And click uh, Next. And this will take a while. Okay, um, so if you want to run it right away, you can click this little box. We're all run. We're all done installing, and hit finish, and it should open it up. Now the first time you open up uh, most of the JetBrain products, it gives you this option. It also gives this option if you update to a new version. So if you already have uh, the uh, IntelliJ installed and you've set up things, you can copy your configuration. Uh, but we've never uh, we've never had it installed, so we're just going to leave it on. Do not import the settings. Hit OK. I'm going to close the browser. Uh, so when you first uh, open it, you also get this customization, and you can choose a dark theme or a light theme. I'm going to choose the light theme, and you can always do this afterwards. There's a thing called the theme. Uh, the light theme is called light. The dark theme is called uh, darkula. So we're going to skip the remaining steps and just set the defaults. Okay, and whenever you open it, uh, it will remember the project you're in, but if you weren't in a project, you'll get this dialog, and you can create a new project. A project is basically a folder where it organizes uh, the program you're working on. Um, you can open a particular Java file or open a project that already exists, uh, and you can do configuration. So we're going to create a brand new project, so we'll show you how to write a simple program. We'll just do the famous hello program. So uh, first of all, you'll notice since we did the previous video, uh, we've set up uh, Java Open JDK version 12. And you'll notice it already found it, and that's because we set up the environmental variables correctly. If, if this says it can't find the SDK, if this is blank, uh, that means you didn't, set up, you didn't install Java or set the, possibly set the environmental variables correctly. So refer to the previous video that's referenced for this. So we just want to create a, a standard Java project. 
and uh, so we're just going to choose Java. You can choose all, make all kinds of uh, projects. And we're making a command line app. Uh, so we're just going to say next. We don't want to use a template, and we'll call this uh, hello uh, programmers. And notice where it puts it, it makes a, a folder in your home directory and users called ID, Pro, ID Projects and it, this is the name of your project. So that's the folder that it creates so you know where it is. And whenever you first open it into a project you get these tips of the day which will give you ideas of how to use uh, the product better. You can always come back to these by going to the help menu and you'll see tip of the day here it is tip of the day so you can cycle through them so I'm going to just close this uh, so in most of the JetBrain products are all organized the same which is really nice if you would deal with multiple languages so this uh, what this is a opens up a view of our project and we put our files in hello programmers in source so I'm going to uh, right click and create a new uh, Java class. Then we'll call it uh, Hello class. And there it is. And then we're just going to create a public static void main uh, string. Args. Now there's shortcuts for typing a lot of this for you which I'm not going to show you in this video. Uh, we're just going to do it as if we're old school. And then we'll do system.out.println. And hello, programmers. And uh, so it says there's some issues. Now it gives you little warnings over here. These are, it says there's explanation. Uh, there's a semicolon expected, and uh, so we're going to put in the semicolon. And it has a thing. This is just a thing that says it can attach annotations. Uh, so we're not worried about that right now. Let's go ahead and run it. So we're going to say run hello main. So we right clicked in the middle of our edit window. And it's building it. You'll see down here. This gives you a status line of what it's doing. And then it's running it. And there it is. Hello, programmer. So we run a program. So basically, there's a lot to using the JetBrains products, but uh, it has built in debugging. Uh, it'll help you type things once you learn how to do the uh, where it looks ahead for you. So it'll do all kinds of features. Uh, a lot of the features you can control under the uh, settings. So, so there's a lot you can do with the uh, uh, JetBrains IntelliJ IDE, and it's got a, it's one of the most powerful uh, Java development environments you can use, and it runs on almost everything. We're running it on a Windows 10, but it also runs in Linux and on Mac, so it's easy to switch between computers and use it. So that's it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right to do that. 